What's good YouTube, it's your boy Ray. Today we're gonna be talking about how Jalen Hands went from being ranked the third overall point guard in high school to now not even being in the NBA. And as you all know, all of the ranked basketball players get to go to top D1 basketball schools. So Jalen Hands decided to sign with UCLA. At UCLA, Jalen Hands started the first five games of the season, but then he sprained his foot and when he came back, he was the sixth man. He ended up being the sixth man for the majority of the season but he ended up getting moved back to the starting lineup late in January. So you might be wondering, how did he do his freshman season? Did he really do that bad that he couldn't make it to the NBA? So he ended the season averaging right at 10 points per game and had a season high of 23 points and 9 boards. If you're scoring 23 points but your average is only 10, that shows that you have potential to be a scorer and to play at the higher level. But it just looks to me like the main flaw here is consistency. But but we'll get more into that later. So even though he only averaged 10 points his freshman season, he still decided to declare for the NBA draft and ended up attending the combine. Pretty shortly after, Jalen Hans decided to withdraw his name from the NBA draft and return to UCLA. I'm not too sure exactly what the motive was, but if I had to guess, it was probably him realizing or someone telling him for him that averaging 10 points per game in college isn't gonna get you a big fat NBA check. So it's probably best to return to UCLA, try to average 25 points, and then that will definitely get him in like the top seven picks in the draft, which would obviously give him more money. So if I were to take a guess, that is my guess as to why he returned to UCLA. But for all I know, maybe he just liked the weather in LA, I don't know. So like I just said, he returned to UCLA for his sophomore year, and that year was a little bit better than his freshman year. He ended up earning the starting point guard position once he returned, and he became the first UCLA player ever to have 10 or more assists in three consecutive games. And honestly, that sounds like it took a long time for some UCLA player to achieve that, knowing how many great basketball players came out of UCLA. I would have assumed they've had multiple players averaging 10 assists. And if you're averaging 10 or more assists, then that means you probably have had three games with 10 or more assists back to back to back. But I guess not. So congrats to Jalen Hands for being the first. And you know how earlier I said that we're going to to touch a little more upon his consistency with his scoring well his sophomore season he had multiple games where he scored 25 or more points and he ended the season averaging 14 points and six assists on 37 percent from three so once again to me it just looks like Jalen Hans needs to bring that intensity every single time he plays basketball maybe intensity isn't the right word but just if he knows he can score 25 or more points multiple times in a season if I were him and if I were playing at UCLA I would tell myself no matter what I need to get my 25 and 6 every single night because I'm leaving millions and millions of dollars on the table if I'm not playing up to these standards so like I was saying he averaged 14 points and 6 assists which is pretty good but in my opinion it's not good enough to be a lottery pick in the NBA draft and in the opinion of NBA owners and GMs it's not good enough to be a lottery pick either because he declared for the draft and they ended up taking him 56th overall to the Clippers. Once the Clippers acquired him and he was like, oh sweet, I don't need to pack any bags because I got drafted to LA. The Clippers said psych and traded him to Brooklyn. And then Brooklyn said psych and sent him to the G League. And when the Nets sent him to the G League, that's actually where he's currently at right now. He's averaging 11.3 points this season. And if I'm keeping it real with you, that's not good enough to go to the NBA just yet. Maybe as like a role player, but the way I see it, if you're averaging 11 points in the G League, that's probably going to be like two or three points in the NBA or five at the very most. So yeah, I think if he wants to be a top guy and make it to the NBA, he needs to be averaging around 25 in the G League to get called up. But let me keep it real. I really do hope he makes it to the NBA. Like I never wish anything bad on anyone and I'm sure he really prays and hopes he makes it to the NBA as well. The dudes he competed against in high school are in the NBA. His teammate DeAndre Ayton from high school is in the NBA. So yeah, I just hope he makes it to the league. That about wraps up the video, y'all. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below letting me know what you think. Stay blessed, stay safe, stay up, and I'm out of here. Peace.